Guyton Boyle's legume crop on the outskirts of York, Western Australia, is a success story of summer sown winter pasture legumes in a mixed farming system. When we actually bought this farm that we're on at the moment, there was a lot of just pure silver grass, gravel stones, and it was just pretty average, pretty average country full stop. However, now we're actually returning decent uh, yields off it and getting good weed control. The benefits are as impressive as the pastures. As well as better yields and weed control, soil fertility and livestock production have improved and Guidance Farm is more sustainable. It's early nodulation too, yeah, this is what really helped. Nice. You got it up right up the top, right the way yeah. through. Yeah. These are like truffles, yeah. white gold. Guidance Pasture Legume success comes from his involvement in a $16 million collaborative research project led by the Grains Research and Development Corporation. It's a national project with funding support for five years from the Australian Government Department of Agriculture and Water Resources as part of its five-pronged Rural R&D for Profit program. These participating agencies also contribute funds along with the GRDC and 10 grower groups. Nodules, really unbelievable. Grain growers who stand to gain most from this project are those with mixed enterprise farming systems in low and medium rainfall zones across southern and western regions. On this farm, total in season rainfall was just 225 mils. Yet by basing his yearly rotation on 15 to 20 percent legumes, Guidance achieved impressive results. The benefit we're seeing is around increased organic matter, uh, huge boosts in nitrogen, um, the ability to wean our lambs earlier, the ability to get sheep on and flushed earlier. You know, the effect that it has uh, in summer as well, in being able to graze it all the way through the summer has been massive for us. Um, it's, it's also turning country around that was just blow away sand. So for us, that's massive. Boosting average farm profit by 10% and halving the risk of financial losses compared to intensively crop farms is what the project wants to achieve by 2022. By 2026, the hope is there'll be a million hectares of innovative legume pastures on mixed farms. You have a very well nodulated uh, Serradella. The western component of the Rural R&D for Profit project is led by Murdoch University. And in the field, Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development's Angelo Loy is advising growers on pasture legume selection. This paddock is a very good example. We're standing on a beautiful stand of a French Serradella Margherita, which has been summer saw. And next year will be cropper, and I'm pretty sure that the farmer will be very happy with the result of the cropper with a very high protein levels and with a minimum usage of nitrogen fertilizer. Selection of pasture legume species depends on your location. In WA, I strongly recommend to use only Margherita French Serradella and Blade Clove Bartolo. In New South Wales, other species can be used, as, uh, such as uh, Bash Rula, Glan Clove, and Aeroleaf. Guidance says he made a few mistakes early on, and a rookie error is to deep sow. Keep it as shallow as you can, watch your chemical plant backs, don't graze it too hard too early because it will reward you. In the in the autumn, like in the springtime, like it'll it'll blow your mind with the amount of growth and biomass that it can generate. So I really think you've just got to use your common sense, look at what you're trying to achieve, and you know work with small seeds. Don't expect too much too early. Um, you can get sucked into that trap of wanting to graze it, needing to graze it, but you've just got to you know restrain yourself and allow it to do its thing. Break it down. You know, what am I trying to achieve? How am I going to do it? And what are the benefits that I'm looking for? And then the paddocks will choose themselves. Interest in what the Western component of the project is achieving has spread. Welcome everyone. This grains industry group travelled from South Australia, keen to replicate the results. This group is made up of um, mostly people involved in the Dryland Legume Pasture Systems Project, which is a rural R&D for profit uh, funded project through the GRDC, um, looking at novel pasture species so that we can have uh, more productive systems and more profitable systems. Uh, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? 
um, I'm sure the sheep would be very happy if they could have these conditions back over home. Guidon says it's all about gaining the ability to build a system that literally works for you. We want that ability for the hard seatedness to last us three years. We want to be able to go Cerradella, wheat, 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 or Cerradella, wheat, barley, whatever, hay, depending on where we're at with our rotation. So it's really important for us to have that hard seatedness factor. That's what enables us to run this rotation because we're not having to build it every year. Once we have it set, then it's self-replacing and self-fulfilling. Just work with your, with your reps, work with your agros, all of your ag department and GRDC guys. There's so much information out there. And ask questions, get out, see what's going on, get out of your own little patch and, and have a crack. That's really the biggest point. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.